Hello creators, it's Melissa from Melissa's Creations and today we are participating in the ICS blog hop, Inspire, Create, Share. I'm really excited to bring you this fun card today. We are featuring punches in this month's hop and I have decided to use the leaf punch from the Painted Harvest set. I think that that leaf punch makes a beautiful fall wreath and I am all about that fall life right now with the seasons starting to change. So this doesn't take many supplies at all. We're starting off with a very vanilla card base, standard size five and a half by eight and a half, scored in the middle at four and a quarter. And then I have a couple of scraps of vanilla that I am going to be stamping my leaves on and punching out. So we're gonna start there. These are the stamp sets I am using today. Of course, we have the Painted Harvest set, still a classic in the catalog right now. I'm using these two leaf images here, and I'm stamping this detail on top of this more solid piece. And the sentiment comes from a gorgeous set. I am going to be doing a lot more videos with this. So if you have any suggestions or requests on what you'd like to see with this set, let me know in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to come up with something for you guys. So the sentiment we're using is from this set and we're going to use thinking of you. I just think that that's a really nice sentiment for this time of year. Now, because these stamps are photopolymer, I will be bringing in my Stamp and Pierce mat to stamp on. It just gives a nicer image when you are stamping with photopolymer. I have several beautiful ink pads that we are using today. I wanted to give a very fall color palette and still have a pop. So Mango Melody, one of our new colors is here. Poppy Parade, a returning favorite. Mary Merlot, new, and Blackberry Bliss, another returning favorite. So I will be stamping four leaves in each color. So we're going to start actually with the lightest color, our Mango Melody. This is such a beautiful yellow, golden yellow color. So I'm starting with the base. I'll stamp four of those. And I kind of stamp them so that I can get the most use out of my paper. Since I am punching these out with the leaf punch, I can get them pretty close by staggering them. So we'll do one more on here in this color. And now I'm gonna go back in with my detailed stamp and stamp over that. just love that it came out so beautiful all right so I'm gonna stamp the other colors and I'll be right back all right now that we have all those gorgeous leaves stamped it is time to dive into our leaf punch so super simple it just takes a few minutes to get all these punched out so as soon as I have all of those gorgeous leaves done I will be right back all right we have all of our leaves cut out so now what we're going to do is cut our wreath base now I have done something similar to this before and I didn't have a base or a guideline to follow when I was putting my leaves in a circle so this part is very important you really want to make sure that you have a good foundation for your wreath or else it will not be a very pretty looking circle. So I have here the one and a half inch circle punch and out of a scrap piece of very vanilla, I'm just going to punch a circle and then I'm going to bring in my two inch circle punch and I am going to make that base wreath. So I'm just going to center that up and now I have a type of gasket, a paper gasket like this. So we're going to use this as our base to glue our leaves down to. All right, this is the fun, if not a bit tedious part. We're going to get these glued down to our base. I have the silicone craft sheet underneath so that I don't stick it to my work surface. I also have some of our multi-purpose liquid glue. And I'm just going to start by putting 
just a couple of small dabs all around here and it depends on how quickly you work if you don't work very quickly and you like to take a lot of time in your placement you might just want to start with one little dab but I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of get a good base down and I will be adding a little bit more as I go around so what I like to do is take this right hand leaf and kind of angle it so that it's hugging the inside so it's kind of like that I have my stem mostly all the way on the frame of that wreath and then these leaves just kind of hug around the outside just like that and don't worry about the overlap here we're going to be covering that up as we go around there's plenty of leaves to go around so we're just gonna keep kind of doing that and as I need I will add a couple dots of glue here and there All right, so there's the first pass of my wreath. Now that I have that base down, I'm gonna go back through and try and cover up as much of that wreath base as possible with the rest of my leaves. All right, we're going to set this aside to let it dry for a moment while we work on the rest of our card. So I'm bringing my card face back in. I'm going to take my bone folder. I'm going to fold that in half and give that a crease. And we're going to stamp our sentiment on the front. So I have my sentiment mounted up here, thinking of you from the Rooted in Nature set. And the last card that I made I stamped this in that beautiful Mary Merlot, and I just think that's such a gorgeous color. I'm gonna do that again. Okay, make sure we've got nice ink coverage, and we're just going to stamp that in the middle at the bottom. Beautiful. So I have a few embellishments we will be using on this card. I'm using up the last of my gorgeous gold faceted gems, and I'm going to use them kind of like little berries around here. That will give me a little bit more texture and interest on my wreath, and it will allow me to hide a couple of those imperfections that I may not want to be shown on the card. I also have some beautiful sheer ribbon. This is in Old Olive. It's 1 8 inch wide, and we're going to tie our bow with it. What I like to do for my bow is double up my ribbon and then tie my bow that way so that I get a really nice full bow. I'm using the brand new Take Your Pick tool and I'm using the kind of spatula end so that I can place these fun gems onto my wreath. I'm using some of our mini glue dots to tack down that bow. So get one on the back of there. And I'm gonna scoop that up and figure out where I want the bottom of my wreath. I think I will do right here. Okay, so now that my wreath is mostly dry, I'm going to bend up a couple of those leaves and I'm going to try to put some leaves in front of others. So it kind of looks more like it's intertwined. So let's see. So I'm gonna pop this red one up over that. I'm gonna put this purple one behind that. 
There we go. I'm going to put this purple one behind that yellow one there. And yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm just going to bend up a couple of those leaves to give it a little bit more dimension. And you can always add more. I just think that four of each color was a good number to start with. And don't forget to pop up the center. Okay, so now we are going to put some dimensionals on the back of our wreath and get that stuck down to our card base. And there we go, creators. There is our gorgeous fall wreath card using the leaf punch that coordinates with the Painted Harvest stamp set. I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to click the bell icon so you can be notified when I upload a new video. You can follow me online at melissascreations.com as well as on Facebook, facebook.com slash mcreations. I'm also on social media. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest with the handle at mcreations. Thank you so much for joining me for this special edition of the ICS Blog Hop. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!